one of the most important aspects of business is relationships. People we deal with. People we want to deal with. So every aspect of ECHO, every appointment or project, probably involves people one way or another. ECHO's phone book is where we store the basic information about these people and organizations. This phone book is the most powerful ever, from its very flexible contact control to its innovative work-saving correspondence manager, you'll find a complete set of intuitively familiar tools to manage all your contact needs. On the right, the fully customizable phone book form, where specific information is displayed for each contact. On the left, your list of contacts with complete contact history, including notes, log calls, appointments, and correspondence. Add outline notes under each name by selecting a name and pressing Enter. You can even date stamp your notes to keep complete records. Just press Control Q. It's that easy. For legal professionals and others who document events or conversations, this is an important feature. Echo lets you create phone book forms to suit your needs, and you can modify them at any time. Let's see how easy that is. Let's say we want to add a new field to let us track if a person is a business or personal contact. From the phone book menu, choose Change Phone Book Form. Choose Manage. Select a form other than the standard form that you want to change and select Edit to modify it. We'll add a new pop-up field called Type to identify a contact as business or personal. Enter the different types and click OK. Now, the phone book form is updated, displaying the new field. It's really important to be able to get your hands on information when dealing with clients and contacts. And Echo's search and query features give you the maximum flexibility to locate that information. Search looks through all the fields, including the notes. To change the search parameters, go to the phone book menu and choose Search Options. For more advanced searches, Echo lets you query the fields in the phone book form. For example, let's do a query on all of our New York contacts who work for General Electric. Press the Query button to display the Query by Form dialog box. Type in all the information you need to perform your query. General Electric in the Company field, New York City in the City field. Note that you can create queries using options such as text begins with, text contains, or even create advanced filter searches. Now press search and off you go. Do a lot of contact management? Then Echo's new correspondence manager will really excite you. We all know how hard it is to track correspondence. The sheer volume required today can be overwhelming. Echo's Correspondence Manager greatly simplifies the task by automating the sending of letters, faxes, and email to multiple contacts at once, logging the correspondence in each contact record. The first time you select Correspondence Manager, you'll be asked to configure it for your word processor, Microsoft Word for Windows, Novell Word Perfect for Windows, or Lotus Ami Pro. Echo also supports numerous email applications and Delrina's WinFax Pro 4.0. Now, there's a default template for each processor, or you can create your own. Once you're configured, you're ready to go. In the Choose Letter to Send section, you can use a template or create a single letter. For a letter, the contact's name and address are placed at the top of the default template. You can also create new templates from existing ones. For example, you could create one for follow-up. It's easy. After you've given a description and file name, 
just pick the fields from echo. Then, create and save the template in your word processor. The Send By section lets you select how you want the letter electronically sent or simply printed. If you use Correspondence Manager for multiple contacts and have all boxes checked, Echo will check each contact to see if it has an email address or fax number. The Save Contact Record section lets you choose how these actions are recorded. All these methods create a dated item in the contact record, documenting that the correspondence was sent. If you choose to save a copy of the letter or template, under the contact record, Echo creates a launchable sub-item. Double-clicking it will bring up the letter or template in your word processor. Correspondence Manager is invaluable for individuals who need accurate records of dealings with contacts and clients. Lawyers, salespeople, and consultants are Correspondence Manager power users by necessity. Echo can also track the time, date, and duration of every call you make. Just provide a description of the call, and Echo logs the duration. To log a call, select the person you want to reach. From the phone book menu, choose Dial Phone. Select Begin Logging. Notice there's now an entry beneath the person's name where you can start taking notes. Click the Close button when you finish. To see all the log calls, look under the Tools menu and choose Phone Time Log. Specify a date range and see all your logged activity details. Often, you need to schedule appointments with your contacts. In the upper right-hand corner, there's an icon. Click on it to split your screen between calendar and phone book. From your phone book, Drag the name of the person you need to meet with and drop it at the appropriate time of day. Not only do you have the person's name in the appointment section, but the phone number too. As you take notes in the calendar, notice how the notes are also displayed in the contact record. so you don't have to go searching through your calendar to find all your contact notes. Echo helps you keep them in your phone book. Another tip. We're often asked if it's necessary to maintain separate phone books for business and personal use. The answer is no. You can keep them all in one Echo file. Just make sure you have a way to distinguish them. Earlier, we added a field in our phone book form called Type, where we tracked our business and personal contacts. All we need to do to see all of our business contacts is a simple query. Later on, you'll see how you can do this with Echo's filters.